hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our first api react series we have built an inventory management system like for a small shop like a grocery using a back end uh, in python called fast api python library and the uh, front end we are built using react using react.js so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and i'm going to demonstrate you a few parameters so this is our api right so this is the uh, the swagger ui for our api if you're using fast api this is our going this is our react front end application just one page of the application so in, in the last row we have written the functionality for deleting updating and, and stuff like that but you haven't written the functionality for uh, the suppliers button right here so i haven't uploaded a video for about on this series in a very very long while so i'm really sorry for that so in today's row i'm going to just go ahead and actually explain to you the code i've already written the code so i'm going to go ahead and actually show you what the code does so i'm going to press suppliers okay i'm going to show you the functionality of the code that i've already written so in here you can see we have here a supplier right so i can go ahead and actually go uh, add products and stuff like that so i'm going to go to suppliers button so if i click on this button this button should return to us a list of suppliers that have uh, dealt with that specific product okay so it's just going to return to me a list of all the suppliers that have supplied that specific product so and then i can also go ahead and actually send an email to that specific supplier just by using this i can send an email to that specific supplier so i can add this uh, i can change these values and add it i can update these values i can send an email and i can also delete this supplier from my database so let's just add a new supplier so i'm going to call it helen and then i'm going to go to temp, uh, first uh, this right here and i'm going to simply copy uh, this email and i'm going to paste this email here so it's just a temporary email you can just search this on google it just gives you a temporary email that you can use so i'm going to change this to helen uh, helen limited and then i'm going to simply going to add this to our database so i'm going to click on add supplier and you can see supplier has been added so i'm going to press ok and then go back to the front end so I can go ahead and actually add a product. So again, maybe I'm saying I'm adding maybe bananas, and then the quantity is 200. I will say I've sold 120. The unit price is 30. The revenue is zero, and then the supplier. So if I go back to our, our API here, so if I click on execute, this will return to me uh, Helen. So if I scroll to the very bottom, you can see Helen. That this was just added with this uh, email address. It has an IP of uh, sorry, it has an ID of 10. So I'm going to go back to our front end here and then put in a supplier with an ID of 10. And then I'm simply going to submit this so you can see the product added successfully. So I'm going to press OK. So if I go back to our front end, you can see now we have that product right here. And if I click on the suppliers info, you can see it has been supplied by Helen and all the uh, the email of Helen that you have provided and other information. So I can also send an info uh, a message to uh, Helen and maybe just say hello, hello, maybe uh, Helen. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually send the email. So click on this and this is going to go ahead and take some time. It's going to send an email to Helen's uh, inbox. So you can see email has been sent. So if I come back in here and then go uh, here, we should see the email here right here. And you can see this is the email right here. So you can see, hello, Helen, happy to hear from you, which is just the text that you have sent to Helen. So guys, that's all there is to it. So that's what you're going to be doing in this tutorial. Well, I've already written the code because whatever we'll be doing in this tutorial will just be a repetition of whatever we have done before so i don't see the point of me going ahead and actually explain all of this to you and probably wasting you guys your time so i'm going to explain the code to you and then i'm going to link a link uh, uh, put a link to it uh, github uh, to the github uh, repository of this of this project and then you guys can go there and find the code but in this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and explain to you because everything that we are going to do in this tutorial i have already we have already done and we have already explained it several times so there is no point to explaining all this to you just something that you have done repetitively for all these buttons okay so let's go ahead and i'm just going to explain to you so what you have simply done first you have created a context so this is the context manager for the supplier this context manager manages all the suppliers information and you have done this several times so you can create a context manager for product update a context manager for uh, for this one also so it's just the same knowledge that you have used here to create this context manager for suppliers information you haven't watched a pro the, the section where I've created a, a, a context manager, I don't want a context manager in React is, then I'm going to link the, li the link to that video up here. You can find that link on context managers. Okay, so let's get, I just simply created a simple context manager. For supply, again, you have done this 
many 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 times so you can check the video if you are not familiar with it so now that you have uh, we have done you create a context manager i have also went ahead and written the function that deals with uh, using the context manager uh, creating the, the different handlers uh, event handlers to add products to delete products to make to make basically make requests to the back end and this you have done uh, the same thing over and over again throughout this whole project so it's just the same thing i have just copied it pasted it and modified it to fit the email part so that's all to it so i'm not going to explain this you can find the code to this on the github repository so one of the things that i have done uh in the in the project is that i have changed a certain part okay so let me just bring you back to our api section so in our api section previously let me just show you the git the old github repository so in the previous section we were big, you are expecting a goods id in order to send an email now i have thought about it and i've made big little changes instead of using the goods id we'll be using the suppliers id getting that suppliers from the database and then when we have that supplier we can find the suppliers id and then we'll be able to send the email so everything uh, else remains as it is instead of just using the goods id we are using the suppliers id so that's all i have changed so all of the link the code to this uh, project is going to be in the repository that i'm going to link in the description below so guys there is all that there is to our project and we have managed to do all the functionality so our delete functionality works and then our search functionality so if i search for sugar uh sugar and search for it you can see all that works if i refresh this everything comes back we can update this information we can delete you can get the suppliers of this specific information we can uh, add new suppliers send emails to suppliers delete suppliers and then also we can also update suppliers information so we have done concluded all of that functionality and our swagger api is this one right here and all of the code to this is on my github repository so i'll link a link i'll put a link to the github repository on the in the description below so guys this marks it uh this marks the end of our react uh first api series in the list last tutorial i didn't want to do a lot of things because I just thought through it and everything that you have been doing is just repetition and repetition so just go to the previous tutorial whenever you have a you, you, whenever you take a look at this code and you don't understand something just go back and look at the previous tutorials and then it will cl clearly make sense to you because you have discussed the same thing over and over again i don't see any point in us um uh, going over all of these things again it's just the same stuff so uh the, the this is just the same logic so you can find the explanation in the older videos and you can find the code uh, of this section in the github repository link in the description below so guys thanks for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this react uh, first api series so far i i thank you guys very much you have been uh supporting me giving a living comment about this series and i really appreciate that if you haven't just subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel drop a comment if you like the video tell us why you like it or why you don't like it it's all fine so guys thanks for watching uh see you in the next series so Keep safe. If you have any recommendation for future full stack uh, applications, leave a link in the description below. I'll consider making a video about that. So thanks for watching. See you guys. Uh, keep safe.